Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh boy, am I excited for today because I'm telling you what, duck is still open. We only got a handful of days left of duck season open here, fellas. But I can tell you what, I found a little feed on some sheet water that should be perfect. And I mean perfect for a solo duck hunt today. Thankfully, the warm weather has kind of came back just a little bit. Warm enough to break open the ice, enough to open up the sheet water on the fills. The mallards have been loving, and I mean loving, the open sheet water on these bean, uh, mostly on bean fields. But if there's sheet water on fields, they eat it up. It just has to be open. It cannot be frozen up. So this is an extremely, extremely small little piece of sheet water. I'm talking like, it might be 40 by 20. Literally, that's it. I'll show you guys when the sun comes up and we're there. But I'm extremely excited. I, I found it yesterday and I'm like, that would be perfect for me, myself, and I. Not a big group of people, just by myself. I went in there and ended up spooking up probably 40 birds that were sitting on it yesterday evening around 4.30. So, enough jabbering, but if you guys haven't checked out the uh, Ducks waiter jacket, it is waterproof. I'm loving it. I've been wearing it all the time. If you guys are looking for a waterproof jacket, this is the one for you. It's got an upper pocket, a lower hand pocket, and it's nice. It's extremely comfortable, and it's waterproof, so that's what's great. It's not supposed to rain today, but I've been loving this jacket. If you guys want to pick one up, I will link them down in the description below. Enough talking. Let's get on the road. Let's roll. Oh, at the old quick shop. I come here way too much. Doing... turn that down Bob well we're here and uh, it's just me you know these solo hunts I don't know if you all have solo hunted by yourself this year or ever but I can tell you what solo hunts are just gratifying they they are they're so rewarding because all your own hard work goes into finding the field scouting the field sitting up the spread hunting it really does just put it home though I'm telling you what solo hunts is where it's at if you've never done a solo hunt and you're wanting to test yourself, put yourself to the test and really enjoy hunting on a different level, I push you guys, try out the solo hunts. Just be extra careful when you're by yourself, guys, seriously. But we're here. Um, I'm going to have to unload the quad, the decoys. i got to get set up here. So I'm going to have to put down the camera, and uh, I will pick it up once the sun comes up. I'll show you my juicy little spread. Probably going to have to use floater duck decoys and some Canada Goose silhouettes. So that's what we're going to be looking at. The floaters probably won't even float because it's so shallow, but we're going to send it, boys. Ooh, we got ducks above us. We're all set down. We're going to start shooting here. It is shooting light. Let's roll. I'm late. Here they are. Here they are. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, boys. Look at this. One down, baby. Ah, oh, missed him. One down, baby. We are not skunked. Woo! Holy smokes. Uh, it's about 10 minutes after shooting light here. And I'll tell you what, these ducks got here fast. Really fast. Oh, yeah. I knew this was going to be a good one. I hope uh, there's enough light for you guys to see, because I got you on the GoPro, but uh, that was awesome. Can't believe I missed that second bird. What the heck, Bob? You can shoot better than that. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Oh, first green down, baby. Oh, no band. Still waiting on that banded mallard that I've never got. Woo! We're in business, boys. We're in business. This is my spread here. Got some uh, Canada silhouettes out. And I just have some duck floaters and a mojo. Only about 12 floaters. Probably roughly six dozen or so Canada silhouettes. And uh, that's where I'm sitting back here. Barely even got the blind brushed up because I didn't have much time. But it's working. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I was debating this video, I was debating on whether even to use decoys because 
Honestly, I've seen them coming here and they've been landing in the exact same spot every day and every evening on this sheet water right here. <laughs> Feels so good just to get the first one down. I don't care how many we shoot, but uh, we should be able to scratch out our limit. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard if they come like that. Holy smokes, I missed the first round. That group got here. I missed the first go on them. There, there was a duck literally four foot above my blind and uh, didn't even have the GoPro going or anything. That's when I opened it going, oh God, there's ducks above us, boys. <laughs> but um, yeah, them ducks, they love this little hole. I'm hoping to get a couple hunts out of this, but I'm hoping to get my limit today and call it quits early so I can hunt this hole again before duck season's over because we only have a few days left, fellas. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Group on the right coming in. I'm not even having to call, boys. Look at them get down. Oh my, look at this. Uh, might, might have to call a little bit at them. <laughs> they didn't like it. What the heck? Maybe because of the, there was no noise. I don't know. All right, here's another group. Oh my goodness, they're bombing, boys. Oh yeah, they're bombing. Man. I don't Let me take this single. He dead now. Boom! Splash goes the ducky. We got two down, boys. Two down. Yeah! That single got low, low, low. So I'm like, you know what? I'm getting my birds. I ain't letting you out, boy. Gonna pick up before any more birds come here. Yeah! Ha, ha, ha! Yeah, buddy. You got low quick, buddy. But you made a mistake, boy. There we go. That's what we came here for. Little solo green head shoot. Heck yeah, boys. Heck yeah, boys. Woo! That just pumps me up. There's something about green heads. I'm telling you what, I've been waiting for duck to open up. And this is why the sheet water, this is the first day that this sheet water has been open. And I knew when it opened up, they're going to start hitting it hard yet again. And they are. Ah, oh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Because oh, I got you on the GoPro. Hope you can see everything. If you're enjoying this solo duck hunt, you know what to do. Please, please let me know by giving me a big old, big old, big old thumbs up. Well, two greens down. Let's check the time. It's 7.40. So, only been roughly 30 minutes here. Not even since uh, shooting light and let me tell you what it's uh, overcast skies today got a killer north wind the wind was south when i woke up in the matter of 30 to 45 minutes i mean it changed 180 degrees out of the north and it is a lot chillier than it was at 5 30 in the morning let me tell you what oh we just had a green head land oh he came out of nowhere there he is Well, he dead now. Well, three down. He landed. I mean, he dove in here out of nowhere. I almost shot him on the water right before he landed, pretty much. But, oh, God, that's icy. This side's a little icy. Come here, bud. Well, we are uh, three mallards deep here. And let me tell you what, it's going great. This is uh, what I wanted here. Awesome solo hunt. <sighs> Uh, I didn't even see that single coming. I mean, he swooped in here out of nowhere. I was like, oh, oh where's the GoPro? Get it on! <laughs> he actually landed over my shoulder right over here. And uh, he was probably a couple inches off the water when I decided to squeeze the trigger. But uh, awesome little hunt going so far here. Amazing. Amazing little green head hunt. I knew it was going to be golden for the simple fact 
they just been so comfy on this little sheet water. Here's two more. Gotta go. Oh, here's more than two, boys. Here we go. Here we go. There's my hand. Another one down. Yep, not gonna get him. Another one down. There's my hen for the day. I know that's a Susie. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Woo! That's my Susie for the day. You know me. I gotta kill at least one Susie a hunt. Old Susie slaying McGee. <laughs> there we go. There she is. No band on the Susie. It's gonna be my only Susie I'll shoot for the day, but she was close. I had to shoot her. <sighs> it's going good, boys. We are four mallards in. We got three green heads down and one hen. Now in Kansas, it's a uh, six, six ducks is your personal limit, but it states only five, only five mallards total. That's all you can have, two of which can be mallard hens. So. You can basically have three drakes, two hens, you can have five drakes, or you can have four drakes, one hen, and a gadwall or something. But here where I'm at, we don't have anything other than mallard. So, probably going to be one more mallard down, and I will probably be done, and we'll try to shoot some geese. I don't think geese will want to land right here. I haven't seen them land here. We might give them a world, you know, tear down the mojo, see what happens. But one more and I'll have my mallard limit. Oh, here they come. They're bombing. Oh my god. much lower but just a little bit <laughs> uh oh here's a single duck coming right at us boys right up above <laughs> right here come on you should you're gonna be our last mallard come on buddy here we go we got two right above us. <laughs> oh man they're not liking it now I wonder if we need to take the bojo down or something. Maybe they're not liking all the goose decoys. I don't know what the deal is, but I've had probably four birds come and look at me and they have not gave it up like the first ones did. Oh, got him! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Boom! He is dead! Yes! Oh, I barely got the camera even on for him. I mean, I looked over my right shoulder and I seen three ducks just balled up, just, I mean, giving it up, coming towards me. I went, oh, 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 clicked on the GoPro. And I mean, barely, barely got him. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Well, that's it, we got it done. We got it done. That's our mallard limit, boys. I've been waiting to have a solo mallard limit for so long. I'm telling you, the split here in Kansas has absolutely done us in. I mean, it has really sucked. Um, a lot of the goose hunts that y'all have watched, we've done nothing, nothing, but watch ducks, do it dirty over the decoys, and finally this is the last week of ducks open. I told y'all, I told y'all, be expecting some good duck hunting and I didn't lie. Again, if you guys are enjoying this duck hunt, you gotta give me a big old thumbs up. If you have any questions about the hunt, about where I'm at, where I live, our seasons, yada, 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 the decoy spread, anything in particular, just drop a comment down below. I'll respond to you. Oh, that was a long shooter. That was a long, long old shot. Just landed two ducks in the spread. Oh, those are widgeon. Uh, too late to shoot them, too. Uh, 
I'm gonna shoot that widget and that'll give me six. Well, I can get one more duck down. Because our limit is actually six birds, but it's only five mallards. I can have a widgeon or a gadwall or a teal or something like that. And there's a stud widgeon right here. I'm going to try to shoot this, uh, this widgeon. Yeah! 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 Oh, oh. They're not going to split up for me. Oh. Well, I couldn't take that shot. Couldn't take that shot whatsoever. Let's see if they come back here. Here we go. Here we go. Coming back, look at this. There we go. There's my duck limit. Boom, widging down. All right, that's my six ducks. <laughs> I did not think I'd have a widge, and I thought it was gonna be only mallards. Literally mallards only. But look at that. The two widgeons landed in the decoys, got out the big camera, filmed them. I fi figured out it was widging, and, cause they, I didn't even see him really come in. Look at that guy, he's a stud. <laughs> Oh yeah, buddy. What a solo epic, epic duck hunt this was, boys. I'm glad y'all are here with me to experience this because y'all know how bad I've been wanting something like this. I'm telling you. Let's get out of here. Oh, look at this. Look at that weather rolling in. Goodness. It's starting to mist on us real bad. I know the lens is getting kind of messy here. Oh, but it is, let's check the time here. It is 8.17, that is it. So, my glasses are all fogging up because of the mist, it's starting to spit on us really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up because I wanna save this uh, hunt. But before I put the big camera away, I wanna show you the setup. Here's the blind, literally barely even have it brushed down. And this is the spread. All I did was set some silhouettes here. Silhouettes, silhouettes. Silhouettes only about five dozen. That's about it five six dozen and then what I did over here is uh, I don't have any duck full bodies at the house. They're all in the trailer So I took my floaters and I just stuffed them in the mud in the water got the mojo in the middle landing into the wind Sitting right there. What a good little hunt that was <laughs> Woo! Well the uh, old camera here is fogging up on me because it got wet but what a hunt that is. It's always nice driving back into the field to pick up the spread with a limit. With a limit and a solo one at that. The solo ones, man, they're so rewarding. Like I started the video, I said, I quote myself every time. It doesn't matter if it's a solo dove hunt, a solo pigeon hunt, a solo turkey hunt, goose hunt, duck hunt. Solo hunting is rewarding. I'm telling y'all, if you haven't done it, you need to because it just puts it in you. It, le it lets you remember what it's all about, especially when you get to shoot them. Um, a lot of times, you know, you guys have seen my solo hunts. Heck, I just posted a crow hunt where we didn't shoot anything. But it's nice getting out there, just being by yourself, getting to listen. You don't have to listen to anybody else but yourself and the wind and the trees and the ducks. It's nice, man. But we're going to get the spread picked up here and uh so we can get out because i want to keep this spot as good as possible i want to get my buddy on it he's gonna love this juicy little spot right at nine o'clock i sat around and watched the birds for a while not gonna lie and uh, it took me a little bit to get the spread up and get loaded up but i was limited out by like eight o'clock easily at eight o'clock i mean it might have been 8 15 but that's the latest that was an epic little hunt I got done early and and now with this cloud cover and and this little mist and moisture and rain rolling in the birds are going to be flying late this morning like they are right now and this gives me a little bit of time to do some scouting i mean how nice lamb it out get your scouting in go get some breakfast some coffee this is easy stuff i'm telling you guys solo hunting i i have really fell in love with um it's 
It's just a bigger payoff. I mean, honestly, personally, solo hunting is where you learn the most. It's where you put your own efforts, your, your own efforts, forth to get the job done. And when it works out, it is extremely, extremely important and, and just perfect. That was perfect today. I'm, I'm thrilled. Like, I have goosebumps. It was so good. But I'm going to continue to scout just a little bit, and uh, we'll head back to the house. We'll check out the birds, check out the pile, and I'll give you my two cents on what worked, what might have didn't, the calling, the spread. You know how it goes. Woof. Look at this feed. Holy smokes. That is a big snow feed. Oh. Whoa. Well, back here at the house, and let me tell you what. What an epic hunt that was. I mean, that could not have went any stinking better. Last night, I could barely sleep because I'm like, this little sheet water hole is a little juice fest. I, I knew that they were extremely comfortable on it. Every time I went back there just to check it, you get even close and they spook up. Yesterday, I, I uh, scared probably 40 of them off of it. In the later evening, I was like, up, oh, up, oh, they're there. In the morning, I know that that sheet water is going to be thawed out. All night last night, it was like 34, 33, 35 degrees, uh, maybe even like 38 degrees. I think I got up this morning, it was like 38 degrees. So I'm like, oh, that water is definitely thawed out. Sure enough, it was. And now it's already cooling off. It's only, you know, a couple hours. It is 1030 now. And let me tell you, cold front's already moving in and it's forming ice on the windshield. So I can guarantee you the sheet water is going to be locking back up. Basically what I'm getting at is I nailed it. I hit it on the head with timing, timing, timing. If you guys got sheet water, which a lot of my Midwesterns do because of all the moisture we've been getting, when that sheet water thaws out, you have to get out there. You've got to drive your roads. You've got to put in some seat time. you got to do some scouting. Look at that sheet water. Them birds want sheet water more than ever right now when it thaws out after it's been frozen for a couple days, a few days, or even a week. But here we are, what an epic little solo limit. Four green heads, a hen mallard, and a stud. Little widgeon, look at that beaut. That wing's a little dirty, let's check out this wing. Look at that guy there, just a beautiful, beautiful little widgeon there. <laughs> when I shot uh, my limit of mallards, I was like, oh, that's done. You know what, I'm just gonna call it. I don't think there's going to be any other species of duck that's going to come to the spread because I hadn't seen anything. All I've seen around here for the last week to two weeks is nothing but mallards. And this guy just lands in the spread. Him and his woman landed in the spread and uh, just gave it up. I, I didn't have my camera ready. I didn't have the GoPro on my head. I had the big camera going. I whipped it out. I'm like, oh, oh, filmed them for a minute, threw it down, threw on the GoPro on the head, and... Uh, spooked these up and they actually did a big circle came back around and uh i took the drake out of the two just an amazing an amazing hunt but i'm gonna get to cleaning my limit here and i also want to give a big shout out to federal ammo they sent me a bunch of this blue box and i've been shooting uh the bb's and the two shot and let me tell you what these are absolute hammers that's what i use today and they got the job done. Thank you, Federal. I appreciate it so much. Oh, but this was definitely one of my favorite hunts of the season so far, guys. You know how I love my solo hunts. I'm telling you, that widgeon came in at the end, and I just was like, oh, those are widgeons, those are widgeons. And uh, here in Kansas, you're allowed five mallards, two of which can be hens. And so I had my five, and I'm like, man, I'm done. Those bad boys came in, and literally, I'm just so, so shocked that it worked out so perfectly so perfectly to where you have your mallards done you got five of them on the ground and then two widgeons just give it up perfectly and they give you the perfect opportunity to pick which one you want and of course you're going to take the prettiest one which will always be the drake so uh it just couldn't have worked out any better literally it's like it fell right into my hands all i had to do was take it uh scouting got it done today guys scouting is key um, don't ever think you're going to have just a banger hunt just showing up somewhere. It's not going to happen. Very rarely do you have awesome banger hunts just showing up somewhere and hoping for the best. You guys need to get out and scout. I stress it all the time. With slick roads, ice, and moisture, make sure you guys are careful out on those roads. Don't park on uh, the side of busy roads. Try to use dirt roads to park and look at the birds. But, 
thank you guys for being here. This was a very rewarding hunt. I'm still just pumped up about it. I'm glad you all were here to experience it with me. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't. But I appreciate the view. I appreciate y'all's support every single upload, every video, every day of my life and yours. I appreciate being able to be here and entertain all my waterfowl hunters out there with a little duck and goose hunting, man. Wouldn't want to be doing anything else in my entire life. Thank you for allowing me to do this, guys. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.